morning youtubers welcome back so uh, what we do for family um, found the leak it wasn't o-rings like I thought it was it was this thing it's the what they call the accumulator tube I guess but by GM now I thought it was the o-rings but apparently it's not um, I'll have to give you the picture of what I've found but on the end here, there's a hairline crack just behind the flange here from where this thing sits. And I can't, uh, I think it's that end. But anyway, it sits on the transmission like so. So it comes off the back side of the transmission and goes over and then goes to the front side of the transmission. Now, um, I've ordered and replaced and it works. So there is an updated part gm knows they had a problem because of 90 degree bend 90 degree bend and it's uh hard to do this with one hand so it would be this end that it cracked uh, but this camera at the moment won't pick that up it did pick it up earlier i had the zoom right in but it is cracked just behind the flange i have an updated part now so the updated part now yeah. Let's see if I can get you down here. As you can see, has a different setting um, fitting for it. So now it goes off to the side, goes through a rubber fitting, and that will turn 306 degrees, and then goes like a banjo bolt into the side of the transmission. And it goes all the way to the back, and then goes back to its original spot back here. And then you have to kind of loop it underneath the transmission cooler, which goes over just behind the mount here. But yeah, this part here is that guy for uh, anybody that needs to go get one and then have a problem. So now all I have to do is just uh, put Humpty Dumpty back together again. It's been sitting here for about a week now just in this current state because I have had no ambition to uh, come out to the garage and work on it because this car is here for a whole slew of other problems um, one of being uh, one of the wire washer sprayers is uh, not working or currently both aren't working because the line broke somewhere so I got to fix that today uh, it's got a caliper I can't remember which one he said it was whether it's left or right on the front that's sticking so he uh, has to anticipate the stops. He's got a rear bearing on the passenger side that is uh, grinding like an old TV set, uh, like a channel changer. It doesn't show, like if you shake it, it doesn't show that it's completely bad. It's just the bearings themselves are absolutely garbage. There's, it sounds like there's rocks inside of it. And then he's got a blend door problem inside and i've got to do programming of keys today which i've already got caught so i've got those um if i had been smart and i've rectified that problem now um i would have just ordered one key and the fob and then transferred his guts over to it because apparently where his key broke off was actually at the fob i could have just pulled the roll pin out and threw another one into it and be done with it but no i went and bought two physical key fobs from amazon for 35 bucks gm wants probably about 100 100 and a half if i'm lucky per fob and then get them cut for 10 bucks a piece um, and all they do is just cut the top of it you program it from what I read on the internet. Basically, I just have to take the original key, stuff it in there, turn it on, uh, turn it off, and then stuff the next key into it, turn it on, turn it off, and wait for the security light to go out. And then it's programmed, so they say. But we're going to find that out today. And then the other thing is, we are going to detail this one. Um, it is a sty. Uh, that I'm kind of embarrassed to uh, drive it down or trailer it down. However, I'm going to get this car down to GM himself so they can do a transmission flush because this thing hasn't had one in its, I would say, in its lifetime. So I'm going to do that so the next person that gets into this thing will not look at me uh, strange. And I don't like taking dirty cars down to GM because I've worked on them at the dealership and it is just nasty getting into some of these cars I've ever 
you know, like I realize that some people are may or may not be homeless or they work out of their car but Jesus if you're gonna take a car for any type of work please oh God be nice to the techs and clean your car to the point where they're not going to have to have a hazmat suit to get into it this one's not that bad but it is lived in it is he's got kids he's he works he doesn't have time to clean it and uh, it falls on the wayside like mine I do once or twice a month and even then driving down dirt roads it gets dirty within a week so even I don't like dirty cars so uh, that's another thing I'm gonna do today so um, yeah I'll uh, I'll show you the the inside of what I'm working with and like I said it's it's not atrocious but it's still something I don't want to take down the GM and then have them look at me going Ugh. some people are weirder than others me I still don't like getting into a car that's this dirty uh, but anyway uh, I'll clean this one up I'll clean mine up uh, mine's been working pretty damn good uh, the heater in the back of it works nice um, uh, yeah so I got to do some work to mine as well I got to do the heater pipes where did I put those stupid pipes I have two where do they go there there I have some extra pipes checked that uh, I'm going to use some of those and some after engineering and uh, a whole lot of hoping and praying to uh, reposition some of the uh, vents that, or the one vent, I guess, that's inside this one. Uh, yeah, so parked it in here last night so it wasn't cold getting it in this morning. And then this one. So yeah, i uh, got some things to do. So I'm going to work on the silver shitbox first. Uh, do what I can today. I guess still got to leave some parts and parts and pieces and everything else. I can do the washer today, and I can do the reconstruction of the Humpty Dumpty and put the battery back in and see if it'll actually fire up when I go to do the keys. And then clean the interior out a little bit so um, it looks like a car again. I realize that as soon as he gets it back, he his life and his everything else will uh, take over again, and I don't care. Uh, it's his car. Whatever. This is what we do for family, right? So, I'll uh, check you later. Okay, so uh, we're at the programming stage. So this is literally all he had left. He was using that, and that's broken off in there. So, what I was saying earlier is there's a... Uh, let's see if I can look at it here. A roll pin just inside there. Since I didn't know that it was there it still shows that there's a spot for the roll pin so what I should have actually done is just bought one of these and transferred his guts into it but I didn't know about this so to program the keys um, basically I've already done it but he's got this so I'm gonna stuff his in so the instruction said take your key Jam it in, turn it on. Uh, it says wait for the theft light to go out. So I can't see the theft light from where I'm sitting. So basically I wait for the dings, I shut it off, I pull, ah crap, all that hits the floor. And then you take your new key, you jam it in, turn it off until the dings shut off. And all the lights go off in the dash. And that's it. And then you take your next key, said, and then jam it in, and then keep going that until you're done. So the two keys that I got work just like that. Two of these off of Amazon for a two pack, and then cut from GM. So that would cost me, this piece here cost me 10 bucks. The fob itself with a blank cost me 35. So, yeah, where's the other one at? Here, I think. Oh, maybe not. Ah, it's a Cheeto. Um, 
But yeah, two of these, 35 bucks, and then sent to my door by Prime. Uh, they gave you, they come with batteries, so you don't even have to buy batteries for these things. They come with a battery, and they give you an extra battery. That's like a $10 freaking uh, battery that they gave you. So his other one, this one, uh, wherever the hell that went, oh yeah, it's on the floor. Um, I can put a new battery in it, and I can transfer the guts over to the new one whenever it shows up. Or take the battery out of it if it doesn't have one. I bought that one for 19 so yet another one of these single one for 19 bucks so i'll end up having three of these by the time i'm finished and that one i'm just going to transfer his guts over and then use his og key to uh fix it up but that's it that's all it is now there is also another problem i've come across uh when having the battery out i plugged it in to start it up to see if i could find the leak on the transmission this stupid thing went and locked it came up, it's in it's an off mode right now, but it came up and just says locked right across the bottom here. After much uh, Googling, I came across only two videos on the internet, and they seem out there. Like, you plug a battery into it and it comes up locked. Their solution was pull a fuse, unplug that fuse, wait a few seconds, plug that fuse back in, and the radio would come back on. I'm like, well, that's just like plugging a battery in and unplugging it and plugging it back in. Like, what the hell? I'm like, but two videos said that. So I'm like, all right, well, whatever. So I, I still was skeptical about it. Uh, the next day I was talking to a friend of mine and he wanted the picture of what the video or the screen looked like. So he can give me a hand figuring out where the code was. And when I put the jump pack on it, the radio had unlocked, just the way you see it now. So if you come across a problem that you're in this model, this is 2016 Malibu Limited, and I'm sure within this body style, uh, this will all work. Just dis un disconnect your battery, wait a few seconds, plug it back in, and wait for it. If you haven't changed the radio, this is only working. Because I know gm vinlox radios and then i'm sure this one's the same way it goes and asks who is its mommy so unplug the battery plug it back in and wait for a few seconds in between and hopefully it'll do the same thing this one did and just go oh you are who you are my owner and start working again since i've put the battery back in it hasn't done that since and i permanently put it back in now and it's still unlocked so it was just a brief moment of stupidity um so if you have a brief moment of stupidity and your battery dies or whatever the hell the case may be overnight and then your radio locks um i don't know where the fuse is for this one i never went looking for it i just undisconnected the battery put it back on and then away it went so you could probably do the same thing um now on to bigger and better things uh so yeah onward and upward okay so uh i'm a little bit into the detailing so this is the backs as you can see the before and the after i know it's not the showroom factory but it's uh, a whole lot cleaner for him hope he hope he likes it okay so we've got a little the floor's done so now, there's the front, there's one of the backs, and driver side one, you can see how much wear is here. You can imagine how much dirt was in the, the front of this car. I think he had half a Saskatchewan in that spot. Although... While digging through all the dirt and rocks and Cheetos and, I think, Smarties, um, I did find this. Now, he was complaining that uh, the defrost doesn't work on his car. It goes from vent to defrost and then goes back down. I found this on the driver's side. That is part of a vent gear. I don't know which one yet, but it's broken. So... Now I have some investigating to do. Find out where this little guy went. And uh, 
how much of a pain in the ass this is going to be to replace. Um, why GM made it so thin is beyond me. I'm assuming this is part of a bigger gear. So I just have to look for the gear that has this missing? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I guess it does pay to clean up a little bit. That was on the driver's side, right underneath the floor mat. So I, I don't know where it goes just yet, but we're going to find out one of these days. So the interior of the car is done. It uh, looks a hell of a lot different. now than uh, it did before so now at least uh, I can take it down to the dealership and smells nice inside now um, and uh, I won't feel like uh, dropping off a really nasty car for them to work on I uh, still haven't found out what the little gear thing is for um, but I did find out why the washers not working I had window put in this one a while ago even though it is cracked again but i'm thinking the last person that's been in here didn't connect it back up so this is thing is just sitting here because it's not broken off and it connects on there and that end was glued to the windshield so it was a little bit of a bitch to get off so this at least will be easy to fix just snap it back on shove it back in place and uh we're so it's uh, one thing down in the many of the list that I have. Uh, so, well, that's going to do me for today. Uh, next time I'll bring you along for the uh, uh, the rear hub, probably, and the defrost thing, if I can figure out what the hell's wrong with it. So I'll bid you adieu for now.